Hello and welcome to Pong Quest given to me by the great people at Atari. Thank you so much guys. Um, I have had this game for a little while now, so it's just to get going, I guess. Um, as you can see, there are a couple of modes we can try here. Quest Journal, um, I don't think that's a mode, but something we can check out later. Online mode, where we can play against other people. Local classic mode, but we've only got one computer here, so a bit pointless for me. Local battle mode, same situation. So let's just go with quest mode. Let's have a practice battle. This is you. Okay. So classic, this is your opponent. Please don't do that whilst I'm trying to... Okay. So... This is the ball. Hit the ball past your opponent with the bell. Okay. So, standard, um... Okay, it... Yeah. This is your health bar. Every time you hit the ball, you will lose health. Great. Yeah. Z and C to switch between balls. Press space to select the ball you want. Okay. Z and C. Oh. Ah. Hit a bubble to... Uh, to obtain a new type of ball. Okay. I wasn't always the best at Pong. I think that's starting to show. When you or your enemy reach critical health, the match must be finished by scoring one final goal. I used to be, um... I wasn't good at this game, but I used to be, um... I, I, I wasn't terrible, to say the least. Finish them off. Oh, I thought I hit that. Oh no, did I waste it? I wasted the ball. That's depressing. Boom. Try that. So, I have to get it. You know, I'm really not showing myself to be good at this, am I? It's because I'm focusing on the review aspects of my video rather than the actual gameplay of the footage. Now, there used to be this thing where... Ah, there we go. Here we go. See, I'm not completely bad. I'm not completely bad. Bravo, bravo. What a magnificent show that was. Hello, King Kong. It's a King Kong there. I don't know if it's going to happen. We've got a new rising star on our hands. Am I right, sir? Pong slot. At least it's something else there. Derek, minus. <laughs> Whatever. You there. The fresh young poodle. Who wants that battle? I've got a task for you. Yes, brilliant task. What exciting and incredibly dangerous. We need to see if you're as good as I think you are. So, Pong's a lot. Alright. Uh, yes, your highness. Take this young paddle to the training dungeon and make sure they know the ropes. Your highness. Can't go into battle like that. Have you no fashion sense? Well, get yourself dressed. Okay. I promise I won't pee. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so my favorite color is uh, blue. I don't like blueberries. Well, no. My boyfriend knows far too well I hate blueberries. Um, blueberries and it backfired on him. Okay. Go so with dark hair. Well, I have IRL. Um, let's go headphones because that's my recording. And... Yeah, why not? We'll go with the heart tea. So, why? There we go. Perfect. You, now you look like a Pong champion in the making. No, I look like a YouTuber. The Pong's a lot. Leap. Dungeon. Dungeon. There. Here we are. When you're ready, just step through the door and your training will begin. How do I... Oh, press space center. Okay. This is... Training dungeon. Okay, now I feel like this is the Binding of Isaac. Um, make sure you explore every nook and cranny to find treasure. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Oh. Go easy on me. Uh, it, this feels like Pokemon, where if you look at a trainer, um, they will... Uh, I moved too soon. They will, um... They'll enter a battle with you. Ooh, nice, I got it. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so I got $150. 
uh, a crash helmet, a zip ball times two, and a bouncy ball. Nice! Switching between different balls is an important tactic in any battle. Can I? Oh, I can't be Inventory full. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, we can go out for that, I suppose. Oh, hello, everyone. Mimic Oliver attacks. Did I fool you? No, you didn't. Especially since you're the only moon at the time. I like how they've added, like, um, like the um, aspect to this game. Oh. I don't know what this one does. Wow, that moves fast. I also like the different types of um, pong balls they've put. Mimic outfit. Okay. That I am bounceable, I've got no face. Ooh. Oh, yes, gimme. Uh, that. Yeah. Uh, I suppose I can pick those up later. Pick up that mushroom for some reason. Can I pick up the mushroom? Oh, that. Oh. But yeah, normally Mimic's um, eye moved up again when I should have moved down. Normally Mimic's are um, paint in the... Okay. Paint in the derriere. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, hang on. You said you could move fast. I, I, I actually expected him to get that one. But yeah, normally mimics are um, described to look as chests. Oh! Oh, um, let's go with HP increase. Mimics, um, like chests, like this one. But because it is elongated to look like a paddle, really, um, you don't really fall for uh, the game because they're so easy to tell. Maybe if the mimic was shorter, component, it would make the game harder because you'd have a well. I'd say harder. It'd be harder, for the game. but it would also make it harder to spot the um, mimic unless it's like a, a comic. Uh, There you are. That they're longer. Uh, easier. Whoop. Then, yeah, by all means, keep them as they are. But, okay. no, actually, look. No offense to Atari, because I love Atari. I used to play Pac Man when I was little and they used to Invaders, all that. Buff ball and potion ball. Potion ball. Hello again. Go easy on me. You always say go easy on me. But what if I don't want to go easy? Oh jeez. What? <laughs> that was um. I need to heal. I don't know how to heal. Um. This. Oh, it's a shot. Switching between different balls is an important tactic in any battle. Buy something, will ya? I've got a paddle speed. Oh, well, I, I, I would, but I've got no space. Manage your balls before you get locked into the battle. Well, I don't really have, um... Oh. How did that one not attack me? Go easy. I suppose they all say the same thing as well, which is a little disappointing, in a way. But I suppose it's not really, um... You know, not a major thing. Where are you? Come back here. Go easy on me. At least they've got different names, like that one was Dummy Daryl. I did play the original Pong as well. Um, I did play table tennis Pong though. Uh. I can go back and actually pick up some uh, balls I've dropped. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Gonna pick. Uh, let's pick up this one. 
I don't know what that does, but I can see it is. Pick up multiple of one thing. Be sure to mention both before you get blocked into the bar. Ooh, what's this? You need a small key. He has a small key. Give me the small key. Wait, how did I get points just then? Uh-oh, that's not a good thing for me. Oh, so the potion one kills me. Oh, that's clever. Okay, so we're both, we were both using a zip ball just then. Okay, so I think in the handy, if it actually told you a little about what ball does. So let's have a. No, we don't need that. Let's have a quick look. Let's see if there's anything we can pick up earlier. Um. I want to drop this one. Why doesn't that let me... It says... It won't let me drop. Okay, never mind. We can't drop the ball for some reason. Very... That's slightly annoying, but... Oh, what can you... As the king's first in command, I should be the one going on an incredible, dangerous adventure. Hi, Derek. I'll show him how tough I am by beating you in a battle. I'll be the king's new hero. Hey, Derek. Derek doesn't seem to. Oh Jesus! Derek, no, please, I am. Possible, but. I like the music though. Dang it, my phone's gonna. Ah! I wish I was a little longer in this game. I was playing um another Pong style game recently. Um, oh wow, I got it past. Okay. I um, had the opportunity to act. Oh, that's not good for me. I've, um, I make my character a bit long. Which I suppose would be. <gasps> he threw a curveball! That's not fair! Oh, I died in a training dungeon. That is just. That's so bad. Oh, where are you going? Come back! Oh, this is interesting to look at. Okay. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, that's where I can... Is that my mum? Ah, I wish I was a big, strong knight of the realm. Okay, you're not my mum. Why is there a worm up there? Oh, no, it's a yellow pong thing. Um... Uh, okay. There you are. Okay, so I, I suppose I have to keep going. Oh no. No. Well, at least I know how to kill properly now. Alright, let's just zoom through this.
Okay, I'm not even going to say how many times that took me to beat him, but he's been beat, so yeah. Ha, huh, I guess the king was right to choose you for this adventure. Head on back to the castle for your audience with his highness. Oh. Ah, there you are, young pedal. I hope Sir Pong's a lot didn't go too easy on you in the training dungeon. I need you to be fierce and fiddle for this extremely dangerous, I mean, exciting adventure. You see, the castle of mine used to be a glorious, sprawling paradise. But now much of the castle is lost to me. My subjects have all been driven mad. They've turned against me. And it's all because of... The spooky door. This door has blighted my castle for as long as I can remember. At least I think it has. Anyway, there's just something weird and creepy about it, don't you think? It might be the skull and crossbones. I'm sure whatever's behind this door has affected the minds of my subjects and turned them against me. But I can't get inside. There are four weird orb-shaped holes in it which appear to form some kind of lock. We used to have four precious orbs here in the lobby, but some of my crazy subjects stole them and hid them away. That's why I need you to help me get them back. Here, follow me, young paddle. I keep wanting to say poodle. Ooh, pretty blocks. This is your first port of call, the Breakdown Penitentiary. It's where we used to send the naughtiest paddles for a little bit of a timeout. But the prisoners revolted and we had to seal the door to prevent them from escaping. Now I need you to venture inside in search of one of my precious orbs. Are you up for it? Yeah, go for it. That's the spirit. Let me get the door open for you. In you go. Watch out for nasty rats and things. I'll be cheering you on from here. At, from out here. Will you now? I'm a bit concerned that you won't be. Anyway, I got something that I want to wear. Oh my god, I wish there was a little way to actually sprint. So, it was... Where is it? Here somewhere. Is there the bottom? Ah, there they are. Oh, I lose my hair. Oh, well. Oh. Uh. Yeah, okay. I guess we're a Nico heart cat thing now. But anyway, this has been Pong Quest. Um, I will say it's a very interesting take on both um, the classic Pong games and RPG games. It's very colourful, very unique. Um, I love that you've got extra power-ups in the form of the balls. I love how you can actually work on your skills and abilities. Um, wow, I did Oh, okay. Okay, that, that would have been... Yeah. Phrase that you have um, the register on how you've got everything. So, like, you've got skins, hats, accessories, symbols. I like how it also shows you on the right hand side and how many times you've game overed. Oh, I'm hoping to hide that from you guys. But anyway, sent that it's going to be quite a long game. Anyway, this has been Hong Kong. I have nothing bad to take out this game. Apart from the fact that there are a few things that were missed in the tutorial that might have helped if it was added in, but you know, these things happen and most of the time you can figure it out for yourselves anyway. Viewers, if you like the content that I'm throwing out, a link to my copy is in the description below. A link to the game in the description below. So if you play this game for yourself, please do so. And again, thank you so so much again Atari for sending me this game. It's one of the most colourful games I've played in a while. So, thank you so so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next review day. Bye bye. Bye bye.